Hi everybody, it's Christian from Student Education with another update on the four majors using IFX Ultimate 8 templates. End of week Friday, let's have a look and see what happened yesterday and let's see what we have installed today. Yesterday, very indecisive. Prior day, on Wednesday we saw price coming unstuck at the 38.2 which is our weekly FIB. And yesterday we saw some negativity to the downside. Heading into our daily FIB retracement here. At the 38.2 price pulling back to the upside indecisive candle however top heavy and you can see on the asian session that momentum carrying through towards the uh, weekly fib retracement high that we've just been to or we have attempted over the past couple uh, the past week or so uh, look at the indicator box primarily blue there's one or two red areas but the r squared is complementing most of that sentiment which is positiveness and sure enough we're seeing upside the institution moving average is just below price and both our 20 and 50 pair moving average below. However, as long as it maintains above the long term monthly FIB retracement here at the 38.2, we should be looking for upside and you can see price is re-attempting or trying to attempt to break the 38.2 here on the weekly um, near term. So ideally going into the new week or the close of today, we'd like to see price trading above the 38.2 here. So above the 13.1420 mark, staying above the institution, you can see quite clearly now it's all above uh, trading by most of the, well, all the indicators, the moving averages in particular, but most importantly, still above that most important institution moving average as well as the monthly FIB. Okay, so ideally trading it very aggressively into the resistance level higher. We would like to see a four hour candle close higher. We had that happen not too long ago. However, on the pullback, we failed to see that the uh, bullish engulfing continuation candle. You can see after that, a lot of indecisive candles, price trading above it, but Closing lower would tell us that the momentum was negative to the downside, so we should re, re attempt the prior swing fibs here in the shape of the dailies. Now we had a bullish engulfing candle yesterday on the four hour, then re attempting the highs at the 38.2. So, ideally, on the four hour, we want to see a close higher than 38.2, which would indicate then if we get a nice juicy bull one to look for the following week potential highs up here on our daily 23.6, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a good 160 odd pips away. So good sign so if you are trading or looking to trade the euro against us dollar rather wait for it to be trading above this 38.2 uh, weekly here target at the 31420 mark before looking to trade the other outcome could be we could see a bearish engulfing candle here to the to the course of this morning and that would mean for the US session we could be looking back towards the trend support or back towards the the daily fib retracement here at the 38.2 sterling in disaster as well yesterday However, still maintaining above the 50% of this candle week trading and sure enough we've seen on the Asian session it's trading slightly higher but indecisive. It's still above, most importantly, the weekly FIB but also the daily FIB, the 23.6, the 38.2 here really acting as a nice support but we should be looking at towards that 23.6 to the upside. Speckled here, a bit of positiveness intraday but the long term sentiment is still very one of negativity. We have seen a major fall for price. So, it's broken, price over the past couple of days is broken above the prior swing, which is a good sign. Now I need to maintain above the 23.6 our weekly to be positive, and then we could target the 23.6 on our monthly here. This monthly FIB here, the blue line, is the major support and resistance level that dates back to 2010, guys. So imperative that we get above that, because as long as it maintains below that level, it is still one of negativity. Okay, so ideally, end of day today, we could have a bullish engulfing counter close above this, would constitute that we should be looking for potential further momentum to the upside and then we could target 38.2 here at the 1541.20 mark for next week as our first target and back towards the institution. Failure to get that today guys, another indecisive candle here, would confirm that we should be looking at potential further consolidation for the new week, because remember there's a lot of consolidation in this area here, for the new week and then we should be looking for price trade between these two points, the monthly FIB high at 23.6 and the weekly fib low here at the 23.6 as a support so on the four hour you can see price trading very indecisively within this range okay it's the, the great thing about it is the fact that it's actually got above it now now it needs to kick on and if we can see a nice in, bullish engulfing count on the four hour then we could probably kick on towards a monthly fib here where the institution is trading at the 23.6 as long as it trades below that we should be still looking for the uncertainty to factor in because it's still trading below a major support and resistance level guys this dates back to 2010 so it's a major level of concern so one or two things you can either be very aggressive and trade into the 23.6 but as long as we the further we get to it 
the more likely price is now starting to consolidate. You can see the highs now. If I take the current prior high, the previous high we had just recently, a couple of days ago, you can see that price is getting stuck here, resistance, finding more and more resistance as we head towards this, this major February retracement area. So we could see more and more consolidation. Look to see if there's anything out there. We have public sector net borrowing figures this morning at 9.30 a.m. GMT. Um, they're expecting a, 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 a figure lower than the previous figure. Previous figure was 10.5 billion, and they're expecting a forecast of 9.4. So there is a there, there's a huge difference there of almost a billion uh, difference. If it comes out even lower than that, then we could see sterling falling a bit. It, it's down to public sector the borrowing figures. So obviously, if the actual figure is less than the target 9.4 then it's going to be positive for sterling. So we want to see something less than 9.3, 9.2, 9.1, etc. That will be far better for, for sterling. So let's have a look and see what happens this morning with a piece of news. As long as it maintains above 20, 23.6 though, this would be our intraday support and that will be our intraday target. If price breaks below that, that will be our target and this should be our new resistance. Here's the Swiss franc. Here again, uh, negativity that we saw start of this week however you can see consolidation at the end of this week trading into the institution moving average and now pulling back and the asian session has seen a bit of negativity and the r squared is complementing a very indecisive chart <laughs> it seems a bit of blue here but overall very indecisive the, the the chart and you can see price action is pretty much uh undecided i mean we had a bearish engulfing and candle is that negativity we have seen a major drop recently after bernanke's um announcements recently so as it stands now, I've taken the daily low to the daily high on the FIB, and as long as the 50% FIB retracement here is still in the way, you can see the institution in the way in our four hour get break close low, and then we should be targeting the the uh, 23 sorry the 38.2. Sorry the what did I get? No, 61.8. Apologies, guys. I'm reading this back back to front. So as long as it maintains below the 50% retracement on the daily on our four hour get below the institution target very aggressively that level down the bottom we have the 61.8 and that is 38 pips so very very aggressive indeed we are very consolidative the charts aren't really showing us a true direction we have the r squared complementing positiveness by the looks of things intraday and we are consolidating at the moment on the institution so this chart not looking all that decisive to be honest with you you start a japanese yen the last pair of the day let's have a look here yesterday's Momentum drove the US dollar high against the yen and doing so getting above the 50 period Fib retracement on the monthly good sign. Okay, we've been up here before So very very important that we stay above it. So intraday the 50% Fib here at the 9964 now needs to be As I mentioned as long as she maintains above the 50% la I did ask bullish and golfing candle then we're looking for positiveness Okay, the candles are positive. What are moving averages are below price, including the most important one, the institution. So, intraday negativity and positiveness in the long term. However, a lot of our R squared is not really complementing that. So, I'm telling you straight away that there's still that indecision out there. So, all this, which we've seen recently, is very correct in a sense because the indicator is telling us that the R squared is not complementing this positiveness we've seen recently. We have seen a bearish engulfing candle the last couple hours in the last four hours in particular it's imperative that price maintains about 50 percent now the whole of today price needs to maintain one of positiveness and it has to close by the end of today above the 50 percent if it fails to and gets back below here again then the first target for the new week would be somewhere in the region of 9867 mark or back towards the institution that we've just come from okay from this level here our first port of call sorry apologies if i can grab that it'll be great That'll be our first, if it closes lower, that'll be our first target, the price swing. And then heading down to our all important the institution, which is not too far away from that as well. So very, very important that we do see price, if this to be positive, to see price actually maintaining above the 50% uh, February retracement here on, on the monthly here. And to close higher by the end of day today. If we can do that, that would indicate that for the start of new week, going into the end of the week, we should be targeting the prior consolidation high here to start with and then ultimately the, or the one right at the top here I'd go for this one in between here the 101 200 would be a, a far better um, shot okay so got two targets to level but it's got to maintain above this level 
Okay, guys. Um, Newswise mentioned public set sector net borrowing figures for sterling. We had the German PPR month and month figures before then. It's just come out, and that is a really great figure. The previous figure was a negative 0.3. They forecasted still a negative 0.2, so a, a negative 0.1 difference, and it came out at zero, so which is really, really great for euro. So look to see if the Europe. Uh, Euro is actually moving against its co uh, cross pairs. Um, we have Spanish HPR quarter quarter figures um, any times during the course of today. Then this afternoon we're going to CAD CPR inflation report and the CPR month to month figures. And then we have all day today G20 meetings, which could hinder price today. Uh, so in terms of uh, true volume, could be elsewhere as people look to the G20 summit meetings to see if there's anything out there that's that's going to uh, move the market. So we could see a lot of speculation. If anything, in the week, we could see no trading uh, volume at all because most of it will all be looking at the G20 summit meeting. So that's it, guys. Hope you have a fantastic trading day today. Keep it simple. If you are using this particular tool, back it up with some money management rules. Make sure you are well aware of your major support and resistance levels, guys. And then use this indicator box to actually help you uh, look at price action setups. Okay, other than that, have a fantastic weekend with family and friends, and I'll catch you first thing on Monday morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.